Hey everyone, uh, for Shelfie Sunday, I thought I would do a little video tour of my collection and uh, actually talk about like maybe what I've read and what I have not, <laughs> since that's a popular topic. Um, so my uh, collection is a little all over the place, but it's it's fairly organized right now. Um, I keep all of my absolutes up here um, and absolute size, like library editions from Dark Horse. Um, I believe I've read pretty much all of these in some form or another. Sometimes I've just read the single issues and then uh, purchased the collected edition and maybe not have necessarily read them in like that format. Uh, I am currently reading through Berserks, the only manga I own. Um, this is something I'm really happy about, which is the uh, Sandman um, Absolutes. I am still waiting for uh, Volume 1 of Preacher. Track that down. I know that's out of print right now, so hopefully it'll come back pretty soon. Then uh, down here we've got my entire Marvel collection. Um, so I've got a couple of gaps. I've got some things coming. Uh, Evolutionary where I actually just picked this up um, and have not not read it yet. Um, I have Infinity War coming, and so it's going in that spot there. Um, I've read most of the Infinity Saga stuff. Um, Onslaught I've read. Heroes Reborn I've not read. I'm planning on trying to do a read-through of that with some other Omnis at the same time. Um, so I'm going to try and do those together. Um, the Cosmic War Saga, I have not read that. Uh, I'm waiting for the reprint of War of the Kings. And then I'll probably go ahead and read it, even though I don't have the aftermath yet, since it might be a while before that happens. Um, most of these I have read uh, through all of those over the years. Most of my Avengers stuff I have not read. Uh, sorry, that's that's wrong. I have read this. Uh, I've not read The Crossing. That's a new pickup. These are new pickups. I got a really great deal on those. Those are some whales that I found. Uh, through um, Reddit. And uh, New Avengers, I've read most of that in some form or another. Uncanny Avengers, I've not read yet, um, so that's going to get added to the list. I've got the new Black Panther stuff that just came out. I'm excited about reading these two together at the same time. Uh, Captain America, I've read all the Captain America stuff. Fantastic. So good. Uh, Captain Britain, I've not read. Got a really good deal on that, so I didn't pass it up. This year was my read-through of Daredevil. Um, I have all of the Daredevil Omnis with the exception of the Silver Age stuff. And I was super excited to read through all that. So I literally started with Frank Miller and then read all the way through Charles Soul, Love Daredevil. And I'm looking forward to get some custom dust jackets for these so they all match. All right. And now we're getting into some of the Deadpool. All this is pretty new. I uh, got a pretty good deal on that, even though there is a reprint coming. Uh, so I probably could have waited, but I just went ahead and got it. And so I need to read uh, some of the Deadpool. Uh, I have not read, honestly, most of this. These are some whales that popped up. That I've been after these for a really long time, so I'm looking forward to reading all the way through uh, that series. Fantastic Four, I love Fantastic Four. I have not read these necessarily beginning to end. I've kind of spot read in a bunch of different places, so maybe one day I'll read, uh, do a read through of those. It's just not near the top of the list. Uh, I've got this volume one. I'm really excited for volume two, either for a reprint or for the same uh, version of that that's come in. And then uh, Hickvengers, or sorry, <laughs> or Fantastic Four. Love that. Uh, fantastic. So good. Uh, Fractions Fantastic Four. I've read that, which is great. Um, uh, Hawkeye. Uh, really good read there. Didn't really know much about that series when I picked it up. Actually, one of my earliest Omni Omnibuses, Omnibuy, or whatever you call it. And so, obviously, it's really good. Howard the Duck I've read. Uh, most of the Hulk stuff I've not read. I um, got all of these kind of around the time they were getting reprinted. Found some good deals on a couple of these. So, I got the series, and I'm looking forward to reading through that entire thing. I have read Planet Hulk and the World War Hulk miniseries before, so at some point I'll read through that entire thing also. Um, a few of these, I've read Alias, uh, which is, you know, great. Um, there's a hole right here because I have um, Miracle Man coming very, very soon. Moon Knight, I've not read yet. Um, that's on the list. She-Hulk, I've read most of this. I read a lot of this in preparation for the show. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Spider-Man, I've read various... Uh, versions of this over the years. Never read the Omnis from beginning to end, so one day I'll probably do that. Um, volume 4 reprint coming next year, which would be great. Um, this Roger Stern Omnibus is on my to-read list, but I've read most of this other stuff uh, through here. Love the JMS run. Those are great, so looking forward to a uh, brand new day hopping in, in here next year when it comes out. Um, love the Ultimate Universe stuff. That's all really great. Thor. Um, I need to read a lot of Thor. I'm not going to read this one until I get the second one because I want to be able to do that together. Um, I, a lot of times I like to read uh, volume one, two all together, so I'll wait. Um, Aaron's Thor, so good, really good. Um, Thunderbolt, I'll definitely be reading this soon. 
especially with the movie and the volume three coming out, I want to read that. Um, and actually, this spot is for Ultimates, which is going to go right here. And then uh, Venom, Wolverine, I'm, I'm looking forward to volume three and probably going to read most of that together. I've read some of the stories that are in here, just not read it all together. And then X-Men. This is where I admit that I have not read any X-Men at all ever, except for um, the Hickman X-Men. I read House and Powers of X and read some of the first issues of that. Thought it was really good, um, but actually I'm looking forward to actually doing a complete X-Men read-through next year. Um, definitely won't happen this year, but I'm looking forward to that, especially with Volume 5 coming. That will be a really great read-through. And then Into the New Mutants and that kind of stuff. Young Avengers is great. I have read that. All right, so now let's take a look at my DC Omnis. Uh, I've definitely run out of space, so I've gotten kind of creative with how I have these shelved. Uh, so up here, I've got all of my event uh, DC Omnis. So DC 1 million, so good. Love that series. Um, that was one that I read like as it was coming out. Infinite Crisis, I want to do a reread of this. I've read most of it before, but I kind of want to read it all collected together. Uh, 52, obviously so good there. Blackest Night is great. Brightest Day. Brightest Day was actually one of my very first Omnis. Um, so that's um, an older one. Final Crisis, great. I th It's been a while since I read this one. I might need to reread this. I'm thinking about doing a read through of most of the DC events. Uh, Flashpoint is great. Um, some of these I have kind of just to have, like the New 52 Villains. I don't know if I'll ever read this. Um, I like some of the stories. Maybe it's, I'll read a few. Um, five years later, obviously it's nice to have that collected edition. And then the Rebirth. This is not the expanded one. Uh, I bought this one before they announced the expanded one and then just have never bothered to, to replace it. Uh, then down here, we've got Animal Man. Um, I've been reading rereading Animal Man. Uh, that's really good. And then I want to read uh, the Jeff Lemire version. Aquaman is great. Uh, Batgirl, I need to read this one. have not read that. Um, I've got the Nightfall uh, Omnis. Those are always really good. Um, I'm missing... Road to Man's Land here. Um, I actually have it, but it's because I'm reading it right now, and so I'm going to read through all three of these. Uh, Paul Dini's Batman, lots of really great stories in here. Grant Morrison's Batman, um, really great. Um, some good stuff, especially as it gets into the New 52. Um, so it's a kind of a good transition from pre-New 52 into New 52 and keep that story going. Uh, Snyder and Coppola's Batman, my favorite Batman. I've read these multiple times. Tomasi's Batman and Robin, which is fantastic. Got a reprint of that coming, I believe. Uh, Rise and the Fall of the Batman from James Tynan. That's great. Read that. Uh, Loeb and Cell. Obviously so good. Lots of really great stories in there. Batwoman. I've not read all that yet. Same with Catwoman of East End. So those are on the list. Uh, Deathstroke. This was a surprise buy for me. Didn't really have much of an interest in it, but got an incredible deal on it. So I couldn't pass it up. Doom Patrol by Morrison. I want to get the Rachel Pollock to go along with it. And then I also need the John's Flash. I've never read John's Flash before. And so I've got the second one. But need to get the other two. Um, love this flash run. One of the uh, bright spots of New 52. Uh, Fourth Ward Omnibus. I've read most of this. I've had it for quite a while. Um, but I really enjoy a lot of the Kirby stuff. So it's cool to see the history there. Gotham Central. Great. Um, Gotham City Sirens. Have not read that one. Uh, Longbow Hunters. Uh, have not read those. At least not all the way up. I think I've read some some portions of that. All right. And then the other side of the DC Omnis. Uh, Jeff Johns Green Lantern, uh, so good. I remember I read all three of these back to back in probably about a week or so. I read them so fast. Um, it's probably one of the best runs in comics. Injustice is great. I think I've read all this, definitely all of the first volume. I think I've read all of volume two, but it might be worth a reread. Um, this I've read a few stories from, but not read the entire thing. Just League International, I've read most of the first volume, but I need to come uh, and finish it with the second volume. That's a recent buy. JLA by Grant Morrison, really good. I want to reread this uh, pretty soon. I just finished reading both of these. Back to back, uh, this is a really great run, and it reads incredibly well and very quickly. JSA uh, just recently completed this collection, so this is going to be uh, a read for me coming up soon uh, to read through those. Uh, Legion, I need the first one. <laughs> I really need DC to do a reprint because I don't want to pay astronomical prices, but as soon as I get the first one, this will be at the top of the reading list. Uh, question. Again, got a really good deal on this. Have not read it yet. Superman. This is, this is my stuff. Uh, I think I've read all of this. Yeah. Um, I don't have the expanded edition. If, if they do a reprint or find a good price for it, I might swap this out one day, but it's just not at the top of the list right now. Um, Superman, Batman, some really great stuff there. Swamp Thing. 
I don't have the new 52 Swamp Thing Omnibus. Um, at some point I might get it, but I've got the Deluxe Edition, so it's good for now. New Teen Titans, um, I needed to fill this in before I do much reading in that, even though I've read most of those stories before. Uh, Jeff John's Teen Titans, uh, I need to reread that one. I have not read that in a long time. Who's Who, I've kind of flipped through that. I don't know. I may end up getting rid of that one one day. Wonder Woman, I need Volume 3, but now that Volume 1 is out, I need to, I want to read all of that. Uh, this is a really great Wonder Woman run here. Then we get into some of the Black Label, Vertigo, however you want to call it stuff. I Zombie, not read. I got that for like 20 bucks, so that's why it's here. American Vampire is great for all of that. He-Man, um, I have not read that one. Ex Machina, Wide Last Man are all great. And then these are great too. I typically keep those separate just for organization purposes, but that's why they are down there. So that is my Omni collection. As you can see, I have some floppies and deluxe editions back here, but I'm not going to go through all those right now. So let me know what questions you have, if you have any thoughts, what books you recommend I pick up next, and I'll show you some more as they come in.